All right, y'all, we got an emergency video to drop right now. Serato just came out with the Mac OS 15 Sequoia support. It's finally here. Serato DJ Pro 3.2.3 is officially here. Just in time for me to be at the club next weekend. I can't wait to rock this out. This is one that I'm, I'm right away, I'm going to put this on my MacBook. Normally, I never update my MacBook for a long time until I've seen that it's out, it's stable, everything is good to go. But I know that they've been working on this for a long time. So I am ready to just jump right in. You know what's up? So... We're just going to download it right now. We're going to install it. I'm just going to go over a few of the settings. Hopefully, I can show you guys. I'll show you guys all of my favorite settings. Anything that I feel like you guys should know. If this is your first time opening Serato, you're jumping back into Serato, whatever it is. I'm going to show you guys exactly what you need to hop on to Serato with the new Mac OS 15 Sequoia support. Let's go. I'm pretty well, like the only updates it looks like are here is uh, Flex 2 comes on with this. You got the GRV6. I think I learned how to say this on my last video, but I've already forgot. So we're gonna move on. You got all your new built-in effects. Native Apple silicone support is what we are all worried about and all have been waiting for so everyone is hyped on this we just downloaded good to go so when you download it it's going to be a zip file i use winrar but whatever you got if you're on mac you literally just double click it uh, and you're good to go so we're going to install it it's extracting right now boom and we are ready uh, i agree install we're just updating right off the hop because i know this is good to go and then i get this question 900 times a day is my computer good enough like recommended specifications actually this is something i've never done before i'm going to show you guys my computer so i'm running a i7 8700 like this is a pretty old computer um i5 it doesn't really oh sixth gen i think mine is like seventh gen maybe eighth gen is what the 8000 represents uh but it's pretty old like i'm down i'm definitely not on the high performance spec at all um, but I am pretty well in this range here. Memory, I got a ton of RAM. I've got a ton of RAM, 32 gigabytes of RAM, 3.2 gigahertz processor. I don't know which gen it is. It must be an eighth gen. Um, I will find out, I guess, if anyone cares, but it is pretty old. Like I've had this computer a long time. Uh, I was just saying that I need a new computer, especially when I'm doing all this YouTube, doing all this video editing. Like I need a better computer. This thing is getting beat up. Realistically, I'm in this recommended specifications and I run stems, no problem on here recording a video going live running stems running serato and i have no problems at all like you have to have a pretty old computer for even just stems not to run correctly if you really need to ask the question like is my computer good enough and you know that it's not it's time to get a new computer if you're at home playing around messing around it's not that important like it doesn't matter at all but if you're out working like at clubs you're getting paid to dj like i got the nicest brand new macbook pro like i always make sure like that is my workhorse if you're making money you gotta spend money to make money you gotta invest in yourself as a dj if you have a crash or something at the club people are gonna laugh at you and it's gonna be very embarrassing it's gonna hurt your pride don't do it if you're making money have a good computer be a good dj that's it's very simple uh, so we are good to go. Just going to close this out. Now, if you guys are looking for a deeper dive into Serato, you are a new Serato user, you don't know how to beat match, you don't know really where to start, make sure you check out the djconnect.com. Join my private group. We got the dopest DJs. We got the firest group of DJs out there. So make sure you join up. All the skills that you don't understand, you have an actual place that you can come, ask your questions, get your questions answered, a community of other DJs trying to become the best DJ they can. And what's new in 3.2.3? Not much. You can use the uh, Alpha Theta DDJ Flex 2. I've literally never even seen this before. Uh, you can use the Alpha Theta Groove 6. I think it was the Groove 6 that I figured out. Just takes a couple times. You got to see it a couple times. It's got to be Groove 6. Like it can't be Grave 6. That don't make no sense. And then just the new effects, blah, blah, blah. Pioneer controllers, native Apple silicone support. Let's go. All right, so we're in here, not much different. I think everything is overly the same. I'm sure they fixed a lot of bugs. 
uh, but pretty well uh, if you are a new user I guess I'll just show you my settings kind of what I got going on hopefully I can sh oh this is brand new I've never seen this before Serato play settings um, Serato play is just a way that I can if I don't have my DJ controller hooked up I can actually load music right now I can remix just with my computer and I'm good to go. Like I have all functionality of Serato at my fingertips. Worst case, if, if my, like my uh, controller ever died, I could DJ right off my laptop and I would like make it through the night. So for, for me, that's just like a backup, backup, backup. Like if my backup breaks or something weird happens, I can always still DJ like no matter what. And that just comes back to being a professional. I went out, I bought the plugin because Worst case, like God forbid something bad happened, I need to make sure that I'm safe and I know that I can still finish this gig no problem. Maybe I'm not gonna be the best DJ. People might be saying like, oh, this guy is not too good today, but uh, at least I'll get the job done. I can still mix, I can remix, I can do what most of the things, I'm just not gonna be as quick. And maybe that's a good thing. Like sometimes I'm going so quick that it's like ADD and people can't keep up. Other than that, let's check the settings. I feel like everything's the same. I've never seen that. I can't say it wasn't there before. I've just, I've never seen that. Very weird. Now your settings, for me, the only thing I'm very questionable on is if you're somebody who like accidentally hit some buttons, like you hit Q or A, you're gonna start spinning the platter backwards and you're not gonna know how to fix that. I've been in this problem so many times before. Watch my video on reverse mode, Q, A, whatever it's called. I'll link it in the show notes. But like now I know how to fix it before I pretty well had to shut down Serato and be very embarrassed and probably lost my job. Once again, being a professional, these are things you need to know. Next up, sort cues um, chronologically. That is great. Um, me though, I don't have that enabled just because I kind of have cue points all over. I'm always like making edits and stuff. Sometimes I'll use like the bottom row as just like placeholders. Depending how you DJ, if you're trying to become like a crazy sick DJ, you're probably going to turn that off. But up until that point, like sorting them chronologically makes a lot of sense. Not sure why you wouldn't have that unless like you had a very specific reason. Um, enable hot cues, make sure you have that on. Track end warning. Uh, that's kind of important because I mix so quick. I never could run into a track end if I wanted to. But if you're someone who's like stressing out and this is going to give you a lot of anxiety too. So maybe turn that on. It's going to start blinking and flashing like, bro, you're running out of time here. Make a decision. Uh, show beat jump controls are pretty cool, um, especially if you're making cue points. I should make a video on that. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys want a video on cue point structure and I can definitely make one on that. Play from start, play from first cue point, instant doubles, turn off effects, analyze stems, all this, boom. And analyze stems is also like doing this on the fly. So this makes it so that you just load the song and your stems are ready. That is a lot more computer intensive and that's why it's so funny that it works on my computer and all these people are <laughs> tripping out that they can't do it. But there's also a workaround to that where you just make the stem folder, drop your tracks in there. So there is a way to do it if you do have a bad computer. But if you have a computer that bad that Serato is not working, it's time to upgrade your computer, like stop being cheap. Um, then sync mode, I'm not gonna really speak on that. I always use sync at this point in my life. I've learned how to DJ. I've learned almost everything about DJing. I feel like I've I've earned the right to not have to move my tempo fader anymore. Uh, but there's also with the Rev7, there's a lot of tricks that I do with the sync button. Like once it's synced, now I can transition like on the fly. The Rev5 came out with a mode where it just does it for you automatically. I'm still stuck in the past where I gotta line them up, sync them, and then like bring the, the tempo up. I should do a video on that as well. So again, if you guys need videos like this, drop them in the comments. That'll give me the fire to actually want to do it. Um, and then buffer size, if you are having problems with your computer, uh, you can always start looking at the USB buffer latency, audio streaming and live streaming. This is super important. If you want to learn more about that, just look up a video of mine on live streaming uh, library. You should not be using iTunes anymore. If you're using iTunes, I can't, these are things I can't say on the internet, okay, anymore. <laughs> uh, custom crate columns are cool. This allows you to have different crate um, columns in each different crate. So actually, I'll just jump out quick. So you can have different columns in like all of these. So I could like turn off 
comment that's gone but i want comment to be here so comment is still here if you didn't have that checked if you turn one off it's going to do it to every single crate that you have so make sure you know that center on selected song uh includes sub crate tracks that's more so just if you had i don't even have oh i do so this is going to include everything that's in here but each one of these have their own specific crates but this top crate has everything so i like that i love that feature uh, next up you just got like show tempo matching display important uh, EQ'd color waveform. So I love EQ'd colored waveforms, color key display. All of this stuff is going to be colorized, which is amazing. I love it. Um, I even color code my music. Like that's what I'm doing right now is working on some music, color coding it. It's just like the way that my brain works. It's an extra category system that like, I know, like I know that yellow to me is very like poppy, like I'ma make love right now, nah, nah. Like it's very high tempo, 138, but it's not rave music. It's not, it's not even EDM really. I guess it is EDM, but very like softer house. Um, 2010s, like early soft house when that like cross hip hop house was starting. Uh, but it's not like heavy in any way. So I need to know that even though just the name alone should be able to tell me that that's just like an extra layer. So it's another category system. That's like, I don't even need a column for that. It's in my brain, uh, performance pad layout. That should be fine. Camelot keys. If you don't know about keys, go check my video on mixed in keys, uh, send data, whatever high res screen display. So it, this used to say, if you didn't have, um, a fast computer, turn this off. I don't know if they've changed something or fixed it. Uh, oh, here we go. May have performance impact uh, requires a restart. So that's fine. Uh, I'm all good there. Curve. Uh, this is for your crossfader. Like if you're scratching, you need your crossfader all the way fast. Um, on some of your controllers, it's going to look like a picnic table. Some look like that. Whatever it is, you just you need your crossfader on fast. If not, the longer it takes you to move the crossfader, the slower your cuts are going to be. Um, then FX, I've already done a video on this. And then just expansion packs, this is where your sampler is. So if this is your first time installing it, make sure you come here, enable your sampler. Everything else is extra, I believe. Uh, make sure you have pitch and time on. I don't think that's something I've bought, so make sure you have that on. Um, and you should be good. So. Enjoy the new update, and I cannot wait to rock this on my Mac.